probably wondering how does the music room name work? All right, I'll explain to you. You can control the uh, the max users per room in the room name itself. I'll show you the format basically. So when you type it out, chicken dash 10 underscore one. Okay. So let me just explain what this means. So chicken is the interest. It's the, you know, it's, it's the interest of the room basically. So anybody who joins chicken room should um, like chickens, right? Dash 10. What is that number after 10? The number after 10 basically is the max users for that, for that room, right? As you can see right here, max users 10, right? And then after that, underscore one. What is underscore one? Well, as you can see right here, it's the nth room. The nth room, right? The nth room after the starting room. In this case, the starting room is chicken dash 10. In other words, everybody who likes chicken and only wants to talk to max 10 people. All right, you join the room, chicken dash 10, there's one. So it's very simple. What exactly is nth room? I'll explain. So whenever you join a room, Whenever you join a room and it's full, right? It's full, what happens after that? Well, what happens after that, it puts you in the next available room, but not quite. I'll explain later. So in other words, the so next available room is the underscore, uh, so it's like if it's underscore one, I guess it, You'd think that it, it tries to attempt to join underscore two, underscore three, underscore four, right? But there's a caveat, right? There's something that I need to mention. If you're always trying to, if, if the system always tries to put, put you in the next available room, like after the, the, the next nth room, for example, then you'll get a situation where you know, if previous rooms, if pre, so let's, let's say the nth room is 10 and you know, there's like nine previous rooms, right? Ninth previous nth rooms, like nth room of one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to nine, right? What if some people leave those rooms, right? Shouldn't the system try to put you in the one of those rooms instead of you know whatever's after your current nth room, right? So that's what the system does. Let me go to, so yeah, now we're in the 10th room, 10th nth room, nth room of 10 so let's just say I, tr I attempt to join this room on another tab for example and it's full for example then instead of trying to attempt to join chicken dash 10 underscore 11 let's say one of those rooms one of those previous rooms previous nth rooms have have an available space maybe they have someone just left someone just left maybe it's nth room one for example what the system does, it starts from the, I guess, it, it starts from the starting room. It first tries to join the starting room, which is chicken dash 10. And then it attempts to join the first nth room, chicken dash 10 underscore one. Assuming chicken dash 10, the starting room is full, it tries to join chicken dash 10 underscore one and then score two and score three. In this case, chicken dash 10 on score one has an available room. So you immediately join that room. What just happened? Let me explain. So instead of, if, if, if the current room, if you try to join the current room, in this case, chicken dash 10 on score 10, and it's full, instead of attempting to join the next nth room, chicken dash 10 on score 11, it's the system automatically starts to search for available room starting from the starting room. Right. So it's basically it makes it makes sure the system makes sure that every like previous room and starting from the very beginning is full. And let's just say all those rooms are full. 
so it's, it, it starts from a starting room and then and then it starts adding you know starts it starts adding to the you know nth number at the end it starts trying try to join you know underscore one underscore two underscore three underscore four and let's just say all the all those rooms are filled full so it you hit underscore 10 and it's full and then you join underscore 11 and it's not full so it starts this exhaustive search from the beginning that's how the room joining works if a room is full basically I hope that mouthful uh, of mine explains it you know enough for you to understand uh, if you don't understand if you still don't understand look I, I would I totally feel you if you don't understand still because I just kind of just rambled all over the place but um, I guess if you go to, if you go to a site and once there's a lot of people on the site and you know you're for example let's just say room two is room two for example is, is very active there's a lot of people in room two for example um, you'll, you'll see what I mean you'll see what I mean you'll see what I mean because you'll attempt to join a particular room and you realize that room is full and you, you're not put into the uh, the next available room after that nth room it puts you in the a room in a previous nth room right so you're like how does that work well because I just explained to you it starts the exhaustive search from the starting room if a particular room is full it doesn't put you in the next room after the nth room that you were trying to join it starts from the very beginning and attempts to join those rooms right so that's basically how music room name works um, a few more things um, this this number right here this dash 10 or this number after this dash which means the you know, max users per room it goes all the way up to 1000 so from 1 to 1000 and if you go to uh, if you go past 1000 it, it doesn't doesn't mean anything it just assumes that number is still a thousand for example let me just let me just type in a thousand and one right notice how the max users is still stuck at 1000 right so past 1000 that number means nothing it just assumes the default value which is 1000 and uh, this number after this under number after this underscore it can go to as as high as it needs to right uh, there's no like limit to that number so thanks for watching this video this is basically how music room names work and I hope you understand it more in depth um, yeah thanks for watching